Hello and welcome to an all new episode of Love My Poland. You know, one of the best things my students love during classes is when I prepare some kind of trivia activity for them about English, about England, the United States, whatever it may be, and they love the game Millionaire. And one of my students last week said, Russell, you should do an episode on Polish trivia. You come up with a lot of good questions and that really might be an easy way to teach your audience, those that don't know that much about Poland, a lot of facts. At first I was hesitant. I thought, no, that probably won't be the best idea. But the more I thought about it, I got together with my students. We came up with a list of 20 questions that would be ideal for this episode. So here it comes. We're going to do 20 questions. Each question is worth five points. Let's see if you can pass. The minimum is 70%. If you get 70% or lower, you fail the trivia test. It's just for fun, of course. And at the end, I'm going to go over all of the answers for you. So don't forget about going to the end part and getting those answers. Let's get started. It's coming right up. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to our 20 questions, starting with question number one. Let's go to the screen. Question one, in which city will you find a 15 meter, 50 foot artificial plastic palm tree? Looks so out of place, but it's there. Is it A, Katowice, B, Kraków, or C, Warsaw? All right, let's go to question number two. What region of Poland is historically known for coal mining? Is it A, Lesser Poland, B, Silesia, or C, the Masovian region? Question number three, what is the name for the Polish lake region? Is it A, Pomerania, B, Mazury, or C, Bieszczady? Where can you find the Polish lake region? Let's keep going. Question number four, which Polish town has earned the nickname the town of ceramics, Miasto Saramiki? Is it A, Tarnów, B, Kraków, or C, Bolesławiec? Where can you find a town of ceramics? Let's go on to question number five. Which of the following is not a beer you would order in Poland? Which is not an actual beer you could order in Poland? A. Żywiec, B. Warka beer, C. Kozłowskie, or D. Tyskie beer? Not a beer you would order in Poland. Question number six is a great one. So many times I've been down to the mountains, to the Tatras and Zakopane. Check this one out. What would you eat if you ordered osipki in Zakopane? Would you eat cheese made from salted sheep milk, A, or B, steamed mountain lake clams, or C, pickled lamb tongue, osipki in Zakopane? What would you eat? Question number seven. I hope nobody misses this one, but if you do, it's a great learning experience. Question seven. What city is the holy pilgrimage destination for millions of people each year to the Yasnogura Monastery? Is it A, Częstochowa, B, Toruń, or C, Zakopane? Millions of people, pilgrimages to the Yasnogura. Which city? Question eight, I love the mountains. If you've never been to the Polish mountains, that's got to be first on your list when you travel here. According to the legend, the Gievont Massive in the Tatra Mountains resembles what? Does it resemble A, a resting camel, B, a mighty giant, or C, a sleeping knight? What does the Gevont Massive resemble? For question nine, I am a personal fan of Magda Gessler. I love Magda Gessler. You know, in the US, I love Judge Judy. If you know Judge Judy, this is kind of a similar personality. Well, Magda Gessler is a TV personality and businesswoman who is widely respected for her knowledge of cooking, financial advice, or celebrity gossip. What is Magda Gessler's specialty? Why is she respected? Now question number 10. This is one that should be fascinating to everybody in the world. Pope John Paul II. Let's go to it really quickly. Karol Wojtyla, also known as John Paul II, especially enjoyed eating this kind of pastry in his hometown of Wadowice. What is its Polish name? Is it A. Wuzetki, B. Kremówki, or C. Pączki. What did Karol Wojtyla, John Paul II, love to eat in Wadowice? You know, one of the exciting things about living here is seeing how many new highways are being built. It's easier and easier to get through Poland and get there faster. I remember how it was years ago. 
And probably my favorite highway in Poland goes from the south to the north. Let's look at this one, question 11. The A1 highway will take you from the Poland-Czech border south all the way up to the Baltic coast cities north. This highway also officially goes by the name A, the Pearl Highway, B, the Golden Highway, or C, the Amber Highway. It's a great nickname for this road. I love it. Travel on it very often. Which one is it? Pearl, Golden, or Amber Highway? For question number 12, you know, here in Częstochowa, it seems that every high school is named after a famous Polish poet. You have to know your poets if you live here, otherwise you look ignorant. So, on that note, question number 12, what Polish poet is regarded as the Polish Shakespeare and has a statue in his memory in Kraków? Is that man A. Juliusz Słowacki, B. Adam Mickiewicz, or C. Cyprian Norwid? Which one of those poets has a lovely statue in Kraków? Now for question 13, I mentioned in an earlier video that for Christmas my family came from the U.S. and we took them up to Torun to show them the birthplace of Nicholas Copernicus. They loved that city. We did some fine dining there and some tourism and it was wonderful. Question 13, if you travel to the beautiful city of Torun, you can see the birthplace of Nicholas Copernicus and taste what delicious locally made treat. Is it A, Torun cheesecake, B, Torun honey and nut cake, or C, Torun gingerbread? They're all delicious, but which one is associated with Torun? For question 14, I think everybody around the world knows that the American president traditionally lives in the White House. It was kind of a hard transition for Donald Trump there at the beginning. But what about here in Warsaw? What about the Polish president? Where does the Polish president live while in office? Does he live A, the Golden Palace of Warsaw, B, in the Belvedere Palace in Warsaw, or C, the Presidential Palace in Warsaw? For those of you that know my channel, you know that I've been living in this country for about two decades now. And I have to say there is still so much to learn and so much to explore in Poland. And I love this question. Which Polish town, question 15, which Polish town is the oldest? Is it A, Warsaw, B, Kalisz, or C, Białystok? Which one's the oldest? Question 16, let's get right to it. Which Polish king appears on the current 100 zloty banknote? Is it A, Władysław Jagiełło, B, Kazimierz Wielki, or C, Bolesław Chrobry? Which one of those kings appears on the 100 zloty banknote? 20 years ago, I had the opportunity to go to a high school prom, which in Poland is called the Studniówka. I went to this prom, I experienced how different it is from our American proms. That's a whole new episode by itself. But question 17 says, during the Studniówka party at the end of high school, students traditionally dance which national dance? Had to learn how to dance it. A, is it the Mazurek? B, the Polonaise or Polonaise? Or C, the Uberek? Which one of those dances is the official Studniówka dance? Question 18, straightforward. Which of these TV stations is not an actual TV station? Is it A, TVN or TVN? B, Polsat? C, TVR or TVR? Or is it D, TVP2, TVP2? Which one of those is not a Polish TV station? Question 19 is a crucial one. You have to know this information. If you don't know, know it now and never forget it. Which city is home to the legend of the Mariatska Tower bugler who was killed by an enemy arrow while playing a melody to warn the residents of impending attack? Google it if you don't know the whole story. It's really interesting. Was that Warsaw A, B, Kraków, or C, Łódź? Where would you find the story of the Mariatska Tower bugler? I've saved the best for last, number 20. Tell me if you've ever heard of this one. The Kozakiewicz gesture in 1980 was a famous message to the Soviet Union, meaning A, we are grateful for Soviet hospitality, B, long live the USSR, or C, go f yourselves USSR. The Kozakiewicz gesture. Google that one too if you've never heard of it or seen that before. This is just too good to not put in my list. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. The answers are coming up here in a moment. Take your time, go over the answers. Of course, don't search for the answers yet. See what your score will be. Again, 70% to pass the test. Good luck.
All right, let's check your answers and see how you did. Let's start with question number one. I'm going to go quite quickly, so if you need to, just pause as we go through the answers. In which city will you find a 15 meter, 50 foot artificial plastic palm tree? That would be in Warsaw, of course. Check it out. The fake palm tree in Warsaw. Question two, what region of Poland is historically known for coal mining? That would be Silesia. Some say Upper Silesia, but Silesia in itself is synonymous with coal mining over the years. I'm curious to see how that will be in the future though. So B, Silesia. Question three, what is the name for the Polish lake region? That is of course Mazury B. Mazury is the location of the beautiful Polish lakes. Highly recommend everybody explore that lake region one day in Poland. Mazury. Fourth question, which Polish town has earned the nickname the town of ceramics? Miasto Ceramiki. That is Bolesławiec. I have seen this Polish pottery sold around the globe. I don't even want to know how much money they earn on that beautiful pottery, but Bolesławiec is worth the trip. I took my mother there and it was paradise for her. See Bolesławiec. Fifth question, which of the following is not a beer you'd order in Poland? Of course, that is C, Kozłowskie. Yes, that was Russell's creation. There is no such beer as Kozłowskie, but the rest of them, Żywiec, Warka, and Tyskie, are all delicious. C, Kozłowskie is not a beer you'd order in Poland. Six, what would you eat if you ordered Otsipki in Zakopane? Hmm, A, that is of course cheese made from salted sheep milk. It's kind of an acquired taste for a lot of people. Not everybody likes that cheese, but it is for me delicious. I love it. A, cheese from sheep milk. What city is the holy pilgrimage destination for millions of people each year to the Yasnogura Monastery? That's my city. That's A, Częstochowa. Just about half a kilometer from my office, I see it out of my window. The Yasnogura Monastery is in Częstochowa. Eighth question. According to legend, the Gievond Massif in the Tatra Mountains resembles what? A, a resting camel, B, a mighty giant, or C, a sleeping knight? That's of course C, a sleeping knight. Legend has it that in times of trouble, the sleeping knight will arise from its slumber and protect Poland. And it really does look like a sleeping knight. I totally agree with that. Question nine. Magda Gessler is of course a cooking expert. She has a show called Kuhenna Revolucja where she goes from restaurant to restaurant and does a revolution there and takes a poorly performing restaurant and turns it into a success story. Most of them are successful and there is in fact a restaurant just below us called Gospoda Kwasznica which was also in one of my videos in the past. So she's A, cooking. Question 10. Karol Wojtyla loved eating B, kremówki. He would go to this one place and order kremówki and that was his deal. He loved eating kremówki B. Question 11. The A1 highway will take you from the south, Poland Czech, up to the north, Gdańsk, Gdynia, the Trójmiasto. It's also called the Amber Highway C because it's so fitting, the Polish beaches. It's a place where you can find amber. We've found many pieces of amber. The Amber Highway, the A1 C. Question 12. What Polish poet is regarded as the Polish Shakespeare? That is B, Adam Mickiewicz. Mickiewicz has the beautiful statue there in Krakow. Go check that out and see that. Polish Shakespeare, Mickiewicz, B. If you travel to the beautiful city of Torun, you can taste not cheesecake, not honey and nut cake, but Torun style gingerbread. Again, took my family there. We loved it. We learned how to make gingerbread according to their recipe and that tradition. Really nice trip, nice tour. Check that out and do the gingerbread tour. Worth it. Where does the Polish president live while in office? You know, a lot of Polish people still think it's Belvedere. Once upon a time, it was Belvedere B, but the right answer is C, the presidential palace in Warsaw, not far away from Belvedere Palace. Question 15, which Polish town is the oldest? Is it Warsaw, Kalisz, or Białystok? It is Kalisz. B, it is the oldest Polish town. And from what I've heard, I've never been there before, but you can really see the fact that it is an older city by looking at the architecture. So that's in my future plans to explore Kalisz. 16th question, which Polish king appears on the 100 Zlote banknote? That is Władysław Jagiełło, the second or second Jagiełło, however you want to say it that way. Jagiełło is on the 100 Zlote banknote. 17, during the Studniówka party, high school students go out in style dancing B, the Polonez. 
the Polones, a great dance and also the name of a car in the past in Poland. The Polones dance. Question 18. Which of the following is not a Polish TV station? There is TVN, there is Polsat and TVP2, but there is no TVR, no TVR. No such TV station exists. C is the right answer. Question 19. Where did the bugler get struck by an enemy arrow while playing the melody to warn residents of the impending Tatar attack? That was Krakow B. That's where it all took place. Uh, they still play the melody today and it ends just like it ended when the bugler was struck. It's a very interesting story. You need to go to Krakow and learn more about that. B. Krakow. Question 20. The Kozakiewicz gesture in 1980 was a message to the Soviet Union telling them what they can do with themselves. C. Go F yourselves USSR. I am not going to show you that. I have kids that watch my channel so I have to be clean here. But uh, just type in Kozakiewicz guest on Google and you'll get everything you need to know about that answer. So C. Question C. Well, I hope you liked our little trivia game today. If you did, and we have a lot of viewers and interaction here, I'll do more. I'll do more about maybe different cities in the future so we can have some fun with that. Again, I love acquiring information and data and facts. I loved history growing up, so this is something that's just right down my alley. So if you enjoyed that, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Put something in the comments section to let me know that you want more of those. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. It'll be good for you and good for me. Go ahead and click the button on the television screen here so you don't miss out on the future episodes and see you in the next episode. Bye!